I'm Kent, school director of Adventure Ski and Snowboard School, located in Encinitas since 1977. And we've helped thousands of people to have more fun skiing and snowboarding than they imagined possible. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to learn how to ski or how to improve your skills if you already know how, so you and your family can enjoy skiing the entire mountain together. In this first very important lesson for a beginner, we would like to help you to learn to keep your balance, your speed under control, and how to stop. And you'll learn to do that here by pressing forward in your ski boots, pressing your heels apart into this V shape of the skis, it's called a wedge. The size of the wedge is what controls your speed. If you stand up taller, allowing the wedge to become smaller, we go faster. If we press forward in our boots and push our heels apart, increasing our wedge size, we slow down and come to a stop. So in the very first lesson as a beginner, you'll do this about 10 or 12 times. Of course, we also need to know how to walk up a hill in skiing. If we are going really fast, we might have our hat blow off our head, or maybe one of your family members above you on the hill needs your help. So we'll spend a little bit of time working on that. But the most important function of this lesson is for you to learn to keep your balance, your speed under control, and stop, and be able to be comfortable that you can glide down a hill and have fun on your skis. After you've had the first lesson as a beginner, you'll probably want to take the second lesson immediately after the first. About 95% of our beginners do that. While you're here and in the equipment with everything you've just learned fresh on your mind is the best time to take lesson two. And if you're already an intermediate skier, this might be your first lesson where the carpet will revolve. So we'll turn the carpet on and you'll spend just a few minutes uh, standing in place, getting used to the carpet turning under your feet and the sensation of that. And then we'll work on reviewing and reinforcing the skills you learned in the first lesson. If we stand up a little bit taller, our skis flatten and they come closer together. To slow down and stop, we want to press forward in our boots, press our heels apart, and roll our ankles in on the inside edges of our skis. Once you've learned to do these things, we want to work on how we turn by shifting our weight from one ski to the other. So we keep our hands in front, our shoulders and hips face down the hill, and this is true whether you're a beginning, intermediate, or an advanced skier. So as a beginning skier, you'll want to learn how to rise up, shift your weight, press forward in your boot, and roll your ankle in to put the ski on its edge. As you start to become comfortable with those things, and even for those intermediate and advanced skiers out there, you'll want to work on balancing most of your weight on the downhill ski. So we have this exercise we call the foot tap exercise. We balance all our weight here and tap the ski that shouldn't have weight on it. After we've done this for a few moments, we'll begin working on holding the ski up a little bit longer because that's our goal, is to be able to balance most of our weight over the downhill ski and skiing. And if we can do that, then we're gonna be much more proficient wedge turners, but we can soon start to move out of a wedge into an intermediate turn called the Wedge Christie. That's where you start your turn in the wedge and you finish by bringing your skis closer together. This will help you to be able to enjoy skiing more of the mountain. Of course, once you learn to bring your skis together, the next goal is to keep them together, turning them at the same time, which is called parallel turns. And this will even open up more of the mountain, so you'll probably be able to ski most anywhere you'd like to go. Notice as I'm doing these parallel turns, I'm still doing the pressure on the front of my boots. I'm still keeping my hands out in front. My upper body is facing down the hill just like in the beginning wedge turns. So very often if you've been skiing for years and have some habits that help get you down the hill, but they may not be the most technically correct way of skiing, we'll need to take you back to this wedge and teach you how to turn with one leg and then the other while keeping your hands and shoulders facing down the hill. Because in skiing, it's our legs that turn our skis, not our upper body. So it's very important in skiing that we keep our hands out in front and our shoulders and hips facing down the mountain. After you've accomplished the Wedge Christie turns to the intermediate level, then we want to work on the parallel turn. And this will help you to be able to ski almost anywhere on the mountain. And to help with this parallel turn, we have another exercise. I showed you earlier the inside edge drill. Well, we also have another drill where you work on the outside edge of the uphill ski. And when you can balance on the inside edge of one ski and the outside edge of the other, and then put two skis down, it's gonna make those turns a lot easier. 
And then, if you're ready for it, we have an even more challenging exercise where you actually stand on one ski and turn it back and forth from your inside to your outside edge, to your inside, to your outside. And when you can do that on both legs, inside edge, outside edge, inside edge, outside edge, not turning the body, just the legs, then put two skis down, you'll be really starting to carve some nice, smooth parallel turns. After you've had some instruction with us and are starting to feel comfortable with the skills you've learned, you can schedule what's called a practice and conditioning session, where you come in and practice the form you learned in the lessons while getting a great workout on your legs. In just 25 minutes on this revolving carpet, most people make more turns than they do all day on the real snow. And then you won't spend so much time sitting in the lodge resting, wishing you had done something to prepare for your vacation. So let us help you get ready for the snow. Take a look at our website, adventureski.com, and give us a call here at Adventure Ski and Snowboard School. See you on the slopes.